they call him, Death Wielder. Our home is a vast and amazing place, home to many stickbots, strange creatures, and dangerous monsters. A very peaceful place, with amazing and very friendly stickbots. From the Great Queen of Hala, to the rough housing of Clickbots, and fascinating tales of the Great Four Masters of Nidaria. The Stickbots of Nidaria had the unique ability to wield great power known as Enchanters. The Enchanters were too powerful for the Stickbots of Nidaria to wield freely, thus they were given to the Four Masters of Nidaria. Each Enchanter has his own amazing power. Lightning. Ice. Fire. And Earth. Because of this, the Stickbots were blinded to a great danger. From within the fires of Melagron, an army set out to conquer the overworld and wish to have claim and control over the Enchanters as they spread across the land. But they were not to remain unchallenged. The Nebula Knights return through these dark times. Long have they been guardians of Nidaria. The two opposing realms clash with a fury of unconceivable power. Yet Melagron had prepared well for this invasion, and even the legendary Nebula Knights could not stop them. The Stickbots of Nigeria had reported a message to the Four Masters that all of the Enchanters had been stolen by the monsters, so the Masters agreed to send the reward to any brave Stickbot willing to get back the Enchanters and bring them back will be able to keep and harness their power. For two agonizing months, no one has ever found the Enchanters. Until now, the Enchanters have been found. When the Masters agreed to let him have all the power, he revealed himself as Valgaris, leader of the long-forgotten and dreaded Anaris clan. Outraged, the Masters refused to let Valgaris have all the power, for it was due to their misuse of such power that they don't trust Anaris with their bad behavior. During that night, while the Masters debated their next course of action, Valgaris set out alone to reclaim the Enchanters. One by one, he sneaked on the Masters and killed them without any mercy or hesitation. Through these dark and menacing times, the citizens of Nigeria had named him the Death Wielder. The fourth and final master, Aurelius, survived the massacre, thus protecting the final and most powerful enchanter. The Stickbots of Nigeria mourned the tragedy. They vowed to hunt down the Death Wielder. It was at this time when the Anaris clan returned from exile. However, even with all of their support, Valgaris knew he was outmatched. With all of Nidaria now his enemy, there was only one place to turn. The Death Wielder met with King Armagon of Melagron and formed the most powerful alliance ever known. And thus began the Great War. Saber had returned and led the Nebula Knights to fight the monsters head on. The citizens of Nidaria rallied their armies. The Clickbots came from the north, the Melanas from the south, and some even say the Death Wielder's brother was there. The freedom of the Stickbots and Clickbots had came after a young Anaris joined the fight. The brother of the Death Wielder, Kaljar Anaris, joined the fight and led the armies to victory, which earned him the name Free Wielder. With his leadership and the Nebula Knights, the monsters were forced to retreat back into Melagron. During the Great War, the Free Wielder fought the Death Wielder alone, and both were defeated. The Enchantress were recovered, 
and distributed a monster stick box of Nigeria once more, signaling an end to the Great Stickbot War. Man, oh man, I just can't get the stupid enchantress out of my head. It's been 104 years ever since the Great Stickball War has ended, and we've all had fought in it, but we decided to join Melagrom and betrayed our clans. Well, it was despicable, but we're all about despicable, especially that scary looking Anaris over there. He's been nothing but quiet ever since we've been talking about the enchanters, just sitting down and doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> you talking about me? Yes, you freak show. Freak show? Huh. That's a new one. Now, please, tell me, why did you call me freak show? Is it because of the massive scar on my eye? Sort of that. I've just been wanting to tell you that for a long time. And do you want to know what I've been wanting to tell you for a long time? And what's that? <laughs> it's that. Your voice is really annoying. Gosh, that feels good. Do you want to be next? N n n no Hmm, that's why I thought. But I don't care, I'll just do it anyway. Well, anyway, I've had enough time in this prison. It would be very easy for me to break out, but I just wanted to prove that I'm the toughest stick bot in the yard. But now, that time is over. Oh no, men, they're out! Oh goody, a challenge. Just what I needed. The two stick bots were never a challenge in that cell. So, please, impress me. I'm not impressed. Y'all are no fun. Time to get out of here. Man, Dylan, there are such amazing tales about the Nebula Knights. And so much about the Great War, oh, well, the Great Stickbot War. And all the, the Anaris and so many awesome epic clashing battles. Oh, it's amazing. Anyway, I'm tired of just laying around. I already finished the book about the Nebula Knight, so now I'm ready to go on a little small journey while my own dad gets to have epic journeys. So come on, let's go. Okay, Chloe, we've been walking for a while, but I'm pretty sure there's something cool that we could find up on that black chair. What the? Uh, is this what I think it is? Oh my bot, it is! This is an enchanter! But I'm so confused. Why is it right here? And where are the others? And why isn't this enchanter with them? Huh, they must have lost it. I wonder what happens if I touch it or pick it up. Huh, well that wasn't so bad. For a second there, I thought we were gonna- Whoa! What the? <coughs> Chloe, look out! Whoa, <coughs> my gosh! <coughs> Go! Oh, well that was close. We almost died from all those death traps. We are never doing that again, Chloe. But I think it's worth it, because we're finally able to get the enchanter. Even though it almost cost us our lives. Now come on, let's go ahead and see if we can actually use the darn thing. Alright, Chloe, you ready to test this enchanter out? Cause I sure am. That's the spirit. Alrighty, let's do this thing. Huh, that's it? I was actually expecting a little bit more than that, but as long as there's power in the shield, that's all that matters. Now let's see if we can test out the power. Wow, that's amazing. Pretty cool for an earth enchanter. 
We really need to show Dad this. That is if he returns from his very long journey far, far away. Ugh. But I've always wanted to go on one of his journeys, but he says it's safer if I stay here. Ugh, overprotective parents these days. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> A long time ago, with from 104 years, so many tales on the walls of time, with the Nebula Knights and the ancient warriors that sacrificed themselves during the Great Stickbot War. Hmm, well, Marcus, I failed to see. Marcus? What? What? Did you say something, Stuart? Marcus, were you paying attention to a single thing I was saying? Ugh, no, I'm sorry, Stuart. It's just that I'm extremely tired. It's almost morning, and we've been traveling around for so long now. Ugh, whatever. So, where in the Wall of Time does it say where the Anaris lives? <sighs> in the backyard. Indubitably. Ever since 104 years ago, when the Anaris clan was exiled, um, Valgaris had decided to bring them back and met with King Armagon and formed the most powerful alliance ever known. And that caused the Great Stickball War. But ever since we won the war, I can't believe they would ever do it, but the other clans had shown mercy to them and decided to exile them to the backyard. But I'm pretty sure the Anaris clan were a stubborn plastic scumbot clan, and they might come back and seek revenge. But who knows what they can do worse than the Great Stickbot War. Dang, you've said a lot. And besides, a lot of that stuff you said is what I already knew. Oh really? I bet you didn't know that there was more than four masters. You know, the leftover ones that died sacrificing themselves during the war. You know, like T-Man, Crowbar, Leopold, and Selvacord Thunderplasm. They were the greatest ever. Huh, well you were kinda right. I didn't know there was eight masters, but what I do know is they all died except for Aurelius. He survived the massacre from Valgaris. But anyway, yeah, it's the tragic part of what happened. See, I told you, you're so lucky to have a companion like me that knows everything. Yeah, yeah, you don't really know everything, Marcus. Now, I think it's time that we should go on our long journey that we said we would do. We need to find traces and clues about the Anaris clan. And there is a chance that we may encounter them. And who knows with other perils. Fear not, Stuart, for I am prepared to fight. Uh, wait, 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 what? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, somewhere around here I have a weapon. Unless I lost it. Ah, oh, here it is. <sighs> Very well. Come on, then. Let's do this thing. Well, we got that over with. Well, it's a shame that we didn't find any clues or trails about the Anaris clan. Uh, yeah, Stuart. Wait a minute, speaking about the Anaris clan, are we in the backyard? <gasps> oh my god, we are! Uh, well, it seems like we're safe. I don't see any Anaris. I don't think they're here. <sighs> yes, they are. You must be Steward Kaltara. I've heard many things about you. And I have heard nothing about you. Oh, I know. I've made quite sure of that. So allow me to introduce myself. My name is Argren Anaris. As for you, Steward, I know who you are. And I know what you've done to my clan. You have slayed many of my brothers and sisters, and once I get my chance, I will make you watch as I kill the rest of yours!
Stewart. I got this. So many years have we been ready for this, and you are not going to ruin it. Ha 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 ha.